the mission and the following ways are not We have what we call the Coastal Carolina Department of Theater New Works Project. My name is Micah Young. I'm the writer of Be and Ben. It's a, a piece that's based on Shakespeare's Much Ado About Nothing. Watching the time pass. The fact that it comes from Much Ado, Shakespeare's um, Much Ado About Nothing, is so fun because you kind of know that story and everything, and then it's translated to a different time period. New Year's 1919, it's right after World War I. Intelligent characters of that time period mixed with the wit of the Shakespeare play, there was just such a beautiful marriage. One, two. There's sweet moments and there's so many funny moments. There's just so much to it. It's so funny and witty and charming. Everyone can relate to at least one of the characters in this show. So this is very early on. We're still working on fine-tuning the score, the music, the lyrics, the book. Every day it's been, okay, we need, we need a new bridge. This song isn't quite working. Can you fix the lyric to fix what's happening in the scene? Just replace in kind. I've heard this is a little bit more abnormal for the, for the Maymaster because it literally is new pages, new pages every day. All the musicals we know were in a phase like this at one point. There's no time to just sit and to just kind of, you know, read it and, and think about. Like, you have to make a choice right then and there. Um, be big, be bold, be brave. What the kids get out of this, which is why we're all doing this, uh, is the experience of having to learn something and literally perform it immediately. That's the art behind it, you know? It's just really freshly making a choice for something that you've never seen before. Some of us will make choices that they like and it sticks, so really, even the performers are a part of what the show becomes. It's a shame you arrived. This is the bridging the gap between the classroom and, and the professional world. Having this experience really helps to just let them see what, what it is that is expected of them. This is something that not many people get to experience before going um, off to New York or LA. It teaches you like how much, how driven you have to be and how much work goes into this. It's such a cool experience. It's one of my favorite experiences here, actually, when I get to do these Maymasters. These are the sorts of training ground experiences that have a lot of, I would say, they have a lot of street cred. I hope that it is as, as much value to the coastal community, the coastal Carolina community as it has been for me. If I'm able to, I want to come back and do this as many times as I can. Is this how it seems?